So in a year full of a ton of running stoke, lots of gear reviews, and lots of cool product that has come out, these are my top picks, the things that I can't stop talking about. So listen up. So weird. <laughs> I do this a lot sometimes, like I'm in a sci-fi movie. Is that weird? Uh, that's weird. Yeah, I feel good. You'll get lots of compliment from the youth. <laughs> like, this is my gear closet. So when I'm thinking about my runs and going on a run, one of the first things I think about is a hat. So I try to reach for something that's really comfortable, really lightweight, and this hat is one that I love. This is the AFO Hyperlight Cap by Janji. These hats are really rad. They come in a couple really cool design and colorways. I have um, hair that's like goes everywhere. It's also really long and voluminous sometimes on my best days. But like I think what's cool about it is that it doesn't feel like a lot of other hats do this when I run, they ride up. This hat tends to stay in the same place all the time. It's a really simple kind of like toggle in the back. And like the name says, it's hyper light. I mean, it's really small. You can crumple it up into nothing. Um, it just weighs nothing. So if you're looking for a running hat, you're looking for a travel hat, you're just looking for a rad hat to support a cool company, then I, I hope it shows them in your closet. It's a weird way to end that up. Like I'm looking in your <laughs> closet. Yeah. What is Alan doing in my closet? Yeah, I don't want to be associated with that. <laughs> Another crucial piece of gear that I think about when starting my runs are my sunglasses. So these are my Oakley sunglasses that I've had for lots of years. I think the big story here is really the lenses. These are the Oakley Prism Trail lenses um, that really make my run um, a lot better no matter what terrain I'm in. Usually what happens is I'm running and I'm feeling good and then I get into shadows and I'm like, Whoa, you know, to put on the brakes. This will let me cruise through, which is really nice. If you give me the opportunity, I won't stop talking about them. I'm just like, these are the glasses you need to get. Again, the frame, whatever frame you're comfortable with, uh, these are the flak frames, but like the lenses are really what I would recommend. So another really big consideration for me, whether I'm running on the road or trail, are headphones. And these have since become my favorite. These are the Aftershock headphones, um, now known as Just Shocks. They sit just right on your, uh, over your ears. So your ears are open, which seems pretty wild. I'm somebody that loves music. And so for you to tell me like, hey, you're gonna get these headphones that don't sit in your ears. I'm like, what are you talking about, you know? Um, but I think the nice thing about keeping your ears open is that you can keep hearing what's around you, which is pretty important sometimes. I tend to run by myself a lot. So I think it's really important that like, I'm kind of aware of my surroundings. On the road, it's really awesome because you can hear cars and even cyclists if you're running on a multi-use trail. I would say that if you're looking for like music fidelity and that's the most important thing for you, um, you may want to look for something that goes into your ear. But if you're looking to get on your, on your run, listen to podcasts, listen to audiobooks, listen to music that you're really familiar with, it's really, really hard to beat these Aftershock headphones. Another part of like what's my running uniform now is uh, my watch. This is a Garmin Forerunner. This is the 935 model. For me, it does everything I needed to do. The GPS is usually pretty accurate. It kind of tells me a lot of the advanced metrics that I'm looking for. So like my cadence, my stride length, even if I wanted to do that. It's a lighter weight version of what a lot of the Phoenix series can do, but it's really sport specific. Whereas like lots of folks are attracted to the Phoenix because it does do lots of other things and it's really backcountry focused. But I think if you're mostly running, if you're mostly kind of out on the trails when you're not needing like lots and lots of mapping features, then the 900 series is still a really solid way to go. So something I wear on 99% of my runs, um, if I'm not going in my barefoot sandals, are socks. And these new collabs between Janji and Bolega socks are super rad. I'm really, really excited about them. What I really enjoy about this collaboration is that like it's two brands that are really driven by like aligned values. You can see here that it's even got that Bolega kind of call out that it's got on most of their, on all their socks where folks are quality controlling it and kind of gives you a little bit of background around who is quality controlling it. These socks were made in South Africa in a very sustainably minded way um, and they help kind of disadvantage folks in that space. If you're interested in learning more about it, I think one of the things that both Janji and Bolega do really well is call out their values in their packaging. Again, call out that like performance with purpose. And if you're like, well, what's the purpose? Um, you know, you have a few things, giving back to the youth in that part of the world, 2% back for clean water, the global artist design series. Again, it's just really exciting to see this kind of stuff materialize in something that I wear most days on my run um, and something as simple as a sock, getting you excited, making you feel like you've already made like a value aligned decision just by, you know, putting on that first piece of gear. So when I'm thinking about my favorite part of running, it's trail running. And when I'm thinking about my most motivational like inspiration, it's like really mountain running, right? Woo! 
what's the best layering piece for me being out in the mountains? And I usually look for brands that have like really informed designs by athletes. And you know, that leads me oftentimes to check on what Patagonia is doing with their trail running lineup. And so this is what they're doing with their trail running lineup. What I got on right now, this is the Airshed Pro. Um, and it's a really, really rad mid layer. It's got really interesting features. So like you can see that there are two different types of fabric on the arms. So like one is really stretchy and kind of breathable. And one is a little bit more wind resistant where you need that wind resistance. You also have like, it's kind of cool. You have two different zippers. That's rad. This just gives you tons of venting features. Also, I think about like if I'm wearing this over a vest, which I hardly do, but if I decide to do, you can get your bottles really easy, which is pretty cool while keeping, you know, your, your upper part of your body and your neck kind of warm. And I can get most if not all my hair in there and my hat which is pretty rad so now you're like all right i'm ready to run in the mountains i think this piece has quickly become one of my favorites of the year and it's something that will always live in my trail running vest now so by now y'all probably know that i love janji for lots of different reasons i think they make really kind of utilitarian gear and gear that works well and another cool example of that is these transit tech shorts I am somebody that does not like liners in their running shorts. I'm somebody that cuts out all their liners in the running shorts. So I really appreciate an unlined short. What I like about shorts like this, especially for trail runs um, in particular, I tend to do stuff like have what I call pocket breakfasts. So, you know, keep a little bit of a, like something snack in my pocket so that I can eat it really easily. If I want to keep my phone in there while in times where I'm moving a little bit slower, I can because probably I'm going to pull my phone out to take a lot of pictures. A lot of running shorts are kind of like stiff and lightweight, but this is like has a ton of stretch to it, which is really cool. So it's a comfy short that you can do a lot more than I thought you could in it. And, um, Highly, highly recommend it. And kind of as a bonus, they do come in a jogger, um, which is pretty rad. So again, I try not to have a lot of ego about what I wear, but when I hear people give me compliments about stuff, it's hard not to be like, yeah, these are cool. I would not run in them. I kind of use them after running and kind of just to lounge around in. But you know, you still have that secure pocket for folks that do like running in a little bit more of a, a looser fitting pant. Something else that I like about uh, these joggers that not a lot of joggers have is just that really wide opening on the leg. So I've put these on over my running shorts and put my running shoes on um, and have been able to take these off with my running shoes still on uh, without having to take you know um, anything else off. So if you're looking for all the utility of a short, but maybe just want a little bit more length, then they do come in that option too. When I think about runs that I'm most excited for, it's all day adventures. And I often reach for my running vest. It is really comfortable. I've had a Solomon running vest for a long time. So I've probably been in Solomon trail running vest for about like eight years at this point. So I'm really like particular about my running vest, but I was like, what? REI trail running vest, what is that like? And what is this Swiftland TT series about? I tried it on and I could not believe how much I love this vest. I've never seen you in a different vest. I know, it's hey. weird. This vest has now become kind of my a go-to for shorter runs. It is a seven liter vest is what it's kind of called out for. I think you can fit a lot more stuff in it, especially with this back pocket that we'll talk about in a second. A couple of my favorite features is this closure. This is something that we've seen kind of like on life jackets or PFDs if you're familiar with that. What I think is interesting about that is that, you know, it kind of moves this wider band and kind of keeps you closer to the back part of this vest. And seriously, this is the least uh, bouncy vest I've ever put on. It stays in one place, sometimes to the point where I'm like, Oh man, like, is it keeping me too straight? Uh, but it just does not bounce, which is awesome. It also comes with some of these hydro pack bottles. You can see that they're kind of tapered down there. So it's really nice because when they're full, they just slide right in so that you're not kind of fighting that top part of the bottle there. So it's just like an easy in out, which is really rad. You've got these front pockets that have lots of storage space. So, you know, you can kind of easily access stuff. There is this extra pocket um, on the top there on both sides. And that's kind of called out as like your locator beacon or your kind of in reach pocket. So you can kind of cinch some stuff down in there. You do have a pretty big pocket down here so that you can put your bladder in there if you'd like. Then here, you have this really, really big, really stretchy pocket. So you have a lot of space in here. The last part of this pack I think that's significant to talk about is that tunnel pocket. So that's the pocket that kind of goes back and forth throughout there. You can see my hand come through there. If you're looking for a vest that can carry you for lots of different hours, has lots of different storage cap capacity, or if you're just looking for a vest that like, man, every vest I wear really bounces and I really don't dig it, I would highly recommend trying one of these on. They're really comfortable. Swiftland TT, really cool. I'm really stoked on this vest. 
So when I'm on longer runs, a consideration oftentimes is hydration. I usually reach for my favorite filter, which is the Katadyne B Free filter. Really, the most exciting part of this filter is that it's this small. The other exciting part of this filter is that it works incredibly fast. This is the one liter option, which I find to be plenty most of the time. It comes out of the box in a 0.6 liter size. But the other cool thing about this filter is that it screws on onto pretty much any HydroPack bottle. Um, and HydroPack is just a company that makes lots of different soft bottles. So the running vest I was talking about that's uh, made by REI, it's got two HydroPack bottles um, and you can kind of put this filter on there and see that it just squeezes right in there. So if you're like, hey, I just want to use the HydroPack bottle I have, then you can definitely use this. I think depending on what you want to do with your adventures, like you can probably find a B-free configuration that'll fit that. So I think it's really easy for me to get excited about things that are like, oh man, this thing is faster or this thing is like really cool or it looks great. But something that's like harder for me to like keep top of mind is safety. And I consider it, but it's like, oh man, safety. The one exception to that is actually the Garmin InReach Mini 2. It's hard for me not to get excited about anything that Garmin makes. And this InReach Mini 2 is a really cool device that lets you stay connected to folks that are not in the backcountry with you. It also has this like pretty big SOS button. The thing again with Garmin that I really love is that the ecosystem is really connected. So this talks to my watch. Um, it talks to my bike computer if I wanted it to. Um, you know, when I go home, then it can I can look everything up on my uh, Garmin website. Highly encourage you to check it out if battery life is really important to you or if you're just the type of person that's like, I just like the new stuff. This is cool new stuff. It's hard for me to deny that I like to run because I like to eat. Thinking about what I'm gonna eat afterwards or on the trail is really important. And that's where my new favorite trail food comes into play. So these are the Yes Bars. This is the salted maple pecan and you can see that it says Yes Bar there. It says world's best tasting snack bar. I mean, I don't know, I'll try it. For $2, I'll take a risk, you know? Um, so I did try it. Um, and yeah, I don't know about the world. I'm not that experienced yet, but I think this is a really solid tasting bar. This is the macadamia chocolate. This is the peanut butter dark chocolate. What's your favorite flavor there? Uh, favorite flavor, Ooh, this one. Yeah, maple pecan. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll give it away. I, I can be, you know, evangelize the gospel of Yes Bar. You know, like these are really cool bars and I think uh, I'm really stoked to kind of turn people on to them. Maybe as important as eating after my run is putting on my recovery slides after my run. <laughs> you know, when I'm getting back to my car, I'm just thinking like I have my slides in the car. I'm so stoked to kind of take my shoes off and put my slides on. You'll get lots of compliment from the youth you know, like, you know, um, but they're also just like, you know, the, the idea of a recovery slide is really interesting to me. Recovery is admittedly an area that I neglect. I don't stretch as much as I should. People have been telling me for years now, like, you don't get massages? You gotta get a massage, what are you doing, you know? But one of the things that I was like, oh, I just gotta change what I wear after my runs and that helps my recovery? All right, I'll try that, you know? And I tried some recovery slides about three years ago and I was like, oh my God, this is game changing. Honestly, even if you don't run, they're just rad. I just think like everybody should have a pair of hookah slides. It's really cool to see they're coming in lots of new colorways. So there's something for everybody with some recovery slides. So that's a look at my top shelf running gear for the year, but I'm really curious to hear from y'all. You know, like all good things that come into my life, oftentimes that comes from recommendations. So I wanna know what you're stoked on. Like what's something that you've realized now you can't live without? It goes with you on every run. Leave a comment below, I'd love to read it. Hey. Yeah, cool. You love this stuff. I do love it, yeah, 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 yeah. Show me that you love it. Okay. This is my top shelf running gear. So let's take a look. <laughs> it's so <laughs> It's such a weird thing to do. I guess I didn't imagine it going quite that. <laughs>